Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful trans woman out here. Tell us about your transition, how it went. Can I hold this, please? No. Um, so I have a question for you. Why are you asking me those questions? Okay? Like we're interviewing like trans women and stuff like that. I'm not a trans woman. I'm a... Oh, no, no, we're, su we're fully supportive. Do you want to talk about sort of transitioning or anything like that? Or like what I people can... I never transitioned because I was born a woman. No, of course you're a woman, of course. Uh, does it make a trans woman any no. less of a woman? No, you are 100% a woman. Uh, I'm not a trans woman. Is there another definition that people like to use? or? You, you thought I was a man? If trans women are women, then why is she offended? Bro activated his trap card. You just activated my motherfucking trap cards. And I'm telling you, robbing that bank was the best decision I've ever made. <laughs> You're so crazy, bro. But what the flip are you going to do with all that darn money? Money? He just drank billions of generations. This guy has swallowed more kids than Lana Rhodes. And to those who didn't get it, he didn't rob a bank. Can you make sure my coochie's not gonna come out? No, we're not looking. How old are you? You look young. I'm 22, I'm 23 this year. 22. Okay. How old are you? How old do I look? 22, 21. I'm 25. Oh, okay. okay. Do you like older me. women? Yeah. Can you handle older women? For a short week. <laughs> I don't know. Have you been with the older women? Yeah. And it went well. Where is she now? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, but um... You like white boys? <laughs> 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 Nikki, how old are you and how many units of Botox do you have? Do I really have to answer how old yes. I am? Yes. 41. Uh, 32 units. Emma, how old are you? 22. What? How many units of Botox do you have? 32. Jody, how old are you? 55. And how many units of Botox do you have? 64. Not bad, not bad. 44. And how many units of Botox do you have? 76. Hey, your skin is hanging off your bones. 24. I have 104. I have 40 in my masseters and 64 in my face. Devaney, how old are you? 23. And how many units of Botox do you have? 60. You look great. I never understood why women get these procedures. It makes them look creepy and unnatural. That 55-year-old, she looked quite good. But that 23-year-old, she looks like Nancy Pelosi. That 23-year-old must love giving head. Because she's got a whole lot of it. it oh, he needs no. some milk. How to know if white cock or black cock is right for you. Let's talk about it. It's important to know that both will get the job done. But depending on your needs and what you need to fill, one is definitely better than the other. In my case, I will be choosing the black cock for the front. If you are working with a large gap or hole, you will see that this is going to work beautifully. Now for the back door, my preference is a white cock. As you can see here, the slit that I need to fill is much smaller. This is going to be perfect. Should a man take you for a first date? He can take me anywhere. I'm not straight. We can go to McDonald's. Damn, for real? Yeah, I just need time and penis. Oh, shit, less. You want to go to McDonald's? I do. Really? You Did got you get penis? your number? Yeah. You got penis? Yeah. Okay. She got that happy meal. Homie is about to bust a McNutt. Straightforward women are the best. I'm 21. How tall are you? I'm six foot one. Right now I'm six four though. That's a tall woman. How easy is dating for you? Not too easy. Not too easy for sure. Well, why do you say that? As a tall blonde woman, I draw a lot of attention. A lot of men, it's very hard to be secure when everyone is looking at your woman. And I totally get that. It's just something that comes with having a woman that's like 5'10 or taller. Because I've had bad experiences with tall men and short men. I, I just died on your arms tonight. Feeling protected is more about a feeling, not a physical thing. You can't control what you look like. You can't control your height. And so. why do you think so many women lean on the height as a factor? They want to feel small. And they want to feel all little and like a girl. Like it's, it's, it's. The war will be such a better place if we had more women like her. Because too many women nowadays are living in La La Land. Take a look. The size matter? The size of your wallet? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> is it thick or is it thin? So money matters. Yeah. But not down there, the, down in the basement. Do you have money? Do I? I don't know. Yeah. Based off how I look, do you think, would no. you presume? No. You know what, she's accurate, so I'm not even gonna fucking, I'm not even gonna say anything about it, you know what I'm saying? I can saying? smell it. You can smell it? Yeah. What does money smell like to you? Good. <laughs> A guy with money, how do, how do they smell? Better. Better. <laughs> Better. Like, how do I smell? I don't smell anything. The answer's like, I have money. I smell soulless. <laughs>
like a soulless, like sin, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, really? soul, soulless. Soulless. Yeah, like I feel like you like, like deep hole. Yeah, like I feel like you like suck the soul right. out of people. No, I suck the money out of your wallet. <laughs> I don't think that's the only thing she's sucking. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> the size of her gums says she needs to shut up. Her mom probably had an affair with a horse. I don't know what's more cringe, her or her friend's eyebrows. Oh, he needs God. some milk. If a man wanted to take you to McDonald's for a first date, fuck would you go? Yes, if yeah. we're vibing. Okay. Let's go. Okay. And then we can like fucking play Uno there. Who knows? Okay. But would you ever date a man that makes less than you? Yes, I have. Yeah? Yeah, why not? Are you single right now? Yes. Yeah? So can I get your number? No. Why? You can look me up on Facebook. It's you're cute, but I'm you're cute. a Gen Z. What, what would you rate me on a scale of one to ten? Seven. 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 You gotta get the beard. You gotta get the beard growing in right here, and I'll give you a ten. Oh, okay. oh no, she didn't. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. That's that's what I want you to do when the ball snap. Come on, Molly. When I get which do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get out of here. No. How about Shotgun, nigga. Do shotgun. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Let's go. <laughs> and yet, when I do this at my job, I have to talk to HR. Now, all jokes aside, if bro did this today, he will get terminated on the spot because women, they thrive off this. Oh, what counter? Wait a second. Uh. No. That's what you guys are, just a couple of meat guys. She's probably one of those girls who got banned and terminated from every single gym for doing the same thing. And now she's moved on to grocery stores. Busted. I caught this guy checking me out in the gym. After yesterday's run, I decided to take a rest day and do some stretching. I was feeling actually really good today. Wow, you really busted him. So much that you had to slow the video down to make it seem as if he looked at you longer than he did. There is a big difference between staring at someone, checking them out, and simply looking at someone as you walk past them. You're standing on a bench doing an awkward stretch you don't see every day in the gym, and he looks at you as he walks by. That's normal. Anyone would do that. Not to mention you have an entire film production set up, which means you're okay filming this to post online for the entire internet to see, but it bothers you that someone looks at you for a literal half second? Seriously? And the worst part you're a coach and a personal trainer, and you don't know better than to treat people this way at the gym? You owe that man an apology, and if you don't, that gym should kick your ass out. You need to do better. Mind your own business. And that's all she has to offer a smelly fish hole, an empty personality, and a headache. But unfortunately, too many men are blinded by the red flags. Every woman that you've been with that has hurt you, used you, cheated on you, stolen from you, whatever it is, she showed you her red flags from day one. You chose to ignore them. So these women always, and myself included, we show men all of our red flags. Now we pick the man that allows us to get away with the most nonsense. What will happen is a man with boundaries can only be with a woman who doesn't have many red flags because they're a perfect match. If he doesn't do too much, he doesn't tolerate too much. They work really well. But a woman filled with red flags will only select a man who's filled with low self-esteem. Meanwhile, 40 men in one in day. One day. That was my birthday present for myself. I'm surprised you could walk after that. A bit of a sore back, but no, it's fine. And and do you did you did did you did you afterwards think you know what 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 am I doing? No, no. I had the most fantastic day. Um, afterwards, me and husband sat there then having a drink all night. 
she could have had her teeth fixed on her birthday but instead she decided to blow a whole lot of candles and god please help her on her 70th birthday now if i was the husband i will give her the divorce paper like this husband sir's wife fully. with divorce papers at work after we'll finding out she's been we'll cheating a lot of that's about it I met a, I met some friend yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. Can I go back? I'm, no, I'm good. I met her. She's really cool. Her name's Sarah Engel. Yeah. Yeah? I met her too. Yeah. She's been dating hey, Dave Gray for seven years. What do you think I got? What do you think message I got? Oh, I'm sure she told you that we were yeah, that that we That's what I heard. We went out and talking. Fully dressed. Nothing to it. She can tell you what she wants. We're both unhappy and we were both talking about it. That's all. I got a message saying that she found you two in bed together. Yeah, we dressed talking. It's not, that's not okay. Yeah, so like. I just want you to sign this so I can go on with my life. Well, I'd I like can... to read it properly, so I'm gonna There you go. Yeah, a married person should never lay in bed with another man fully clothed or not. Lady, you're already cheating. This gentleman did the right thing because my brothers, listen to this. There's only one thing that all women want. People will tell you that they want money, they want someone tall, they want someone stronger. The reality of hypergamy for a woman is only by one metric. It's our ability to manipulate a man. Yeah? We will only respect men we can't manipulate. You can be shorter than us, you can be poorer than us, you can be dumber than us in all other regards. But if, you, if we can't trick you, we'll still give you some respect. But if you're richer than us, taller than us, got more degrees and more qualifications, but we can trick you and we can manipulate you and we can derive resources, we cannot see you as a body to respect. The problem with men is they are far more naive than women. I know. The past into the present, Nicole. What did I tell you about that in the beginning? Yeah. Six Everyone. months in, you were fine. Six months out, where the hell were you? Yeah. Well, you know what? Okay, let's That's both take time out and blink. <laughs> Zooted and being on dope are two very different things. And legends have say they still haven't blinked till this day. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the conspiracy theory of the day. Tesla is pretty much a surveillance vehicle at this point. It's powered by electricity, which could be turned off at any moment. In fact, in China right now, if you have a poor social credit score, you can't charge your Tesla, which is crazy. What happens when that gets introduced in the West and everybody has an electric vehicle? It's a mechanism of control. You have one kill switch and you can basically turn off all sorts of travel. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Regulation says you can't leave five kilometers from your house. Oh, well, you don't want to comply. We're tracking through your car. Your car has Wi-Fi. Turn off the car. Boom. One of the many reasons why I will never drive an electric car. You can either go to jail for a year or you can drive an electric car the rest of your life. Which one are you choosing? Jail. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I found out that men don't shave their bubbles. Come here. He who cleans his house is expecting visitors.